Good morning. This will be my first vlog. I travel a lot uh, for like vacation, streaming, whatever. So I figured, why not vlog it? You know, today's trip is to Chicago. I am going to see Fall Out Boy on their opening night of tour. I haven't seen Fall Out Boy in seven years. They used to be one of my favorite bands ever. Hated some of the newer albums they released, but this last album they released, I was like, I have to go. In a way to fulfill my childhood dream, I am seeing them on their opening night in Chicago, which is their hometown. Now, I'm going alone. <laughs> Okay, I am going alone. I'm traveling to Chicago alone. I'm gonna be there alone And I didn't feel like driving the four and a half hours without anybody So I decided I'm gonna take the train try something new I've only taken like the subway system in New York, but today we're doing Amtrak, baby It's six o'clock in the morning right now. My train leaves in 45 minutes, and I don't know if I'm early I don't know if I'm late, but come along with me on this journey. Okay, we'll see also, one thing I didn't mention is I'm going for like 27 hours. It's a dumb trip. I just didn't want to miss streaming. So we're going to be gone for a day. We're walking into the station. One thing I forgot that's happening today, 1975 pre-sale. And I'm going to be on this stupid fucking train. So that's going to be fun. I'll keep you updated with that too. We're supposed to leave in 15 minutes. I've never done this before, like I said. Also, one thing I'll never get used to is like recording in public and streaming in public. It's very embarrassing, not gonna lie. So I literally walked alone. One more thing while we're waiting for the train, the concert is in 12 hours-ish. I feel dumb <laughs> just traveling the day up and it feels like a spontaneous trip, but I've had this plan for months. I just didn't have my means of transportation planned. I don't know. You live and you learn. So the plan is when I get to Chicago, I'm gonna check into my hotel. I'm probably gonna try to tackle public transport there because Ubers are expensive. I need to go shopping. I need to get my perfume. Forgot that at home. Maybe take a little nappy nap, shower, and get ready for the concert. It seems like a lot to do, but to be quite honest, I don't know if I'll have time. We'll see. finally at the hotel after five hours of travel i'll give a little tour okay the room the bathroom get the shower we got me with my little travel fit because i'm lazy i look cute when you're gonna sleep right then the room okay i have a fear of those swings not gonna lie so Garrett's is like a Chicago thing and they give you a free bag of it, which is kind of wild. The train ride was okay. I had my AirPods in and then the lady next to me tapped onto me and she wanted me to take my AirPods out and have a conversation with her. I did for like three hours. I didn't listen to music uh, for the entire end of it. I didn't even get her name, but I made up like a whole new identity when talking to her. She asked what I did for work and I told her I'm a scientist and I made up a research project. She started crying, I started sweating. She is coming to Chicago to break up with her boyfriend that has issues with her because he's vegan, she's a meat eater and he wants her to be healthy and she does not want him telling her what to do. And she's like, do you know what a hot girl summer is? I'm like, yes. Go live your hot girl summer, break up with him, get your makeup and download Hinge. And then she was asking me advice about her son that's my age. And then she's like, do you know who Jordan Peterson is? I was like, no, who is that? And she's like, oh, he's like a psychologist. 
and then he became like a speaker. He does really good self-help. People think he's a closet conservative, but he just really wants to help people. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll check him out. She's on her hot girl summer shit. I'm proud of her. Proudy and Michelle. It's crazy. Like you meet people that you're never going to see ever again. Also, 1975 ticket updates. I was a victim to a platinum ticket pricing. We got front row seated for two shows. And then I accidentally bought two extra tickets because my sister is stupid. So yeah, but we're going to see the 1975. But yeah, before the concert tonight, I need to take a nap. Once I wake up from my nap, I'll vlog. All right, we'll get ready. We'll go shopping for my perfume that's right across the street. And then we'll get headed to the concert. See you later. It's 4.07 and doors for the concert open at 4.30. I'm an idiot. I slept through my alarm. I had so many things I needed to do, like go get my perfume before this concert, but you know, it is what it is. Shout out to Amir because if he hadn't called me and buzzed my fucking head, I'd be still asleep. So we're getting ready, you know? Lashes are about to be put on. Are there ever events that you like wanna go to and stuff? And it feels good like when you buy it, but then in a moment you're just like, I don't wanna go. That's me right now. It's like, obviously I wanna go because hello, it's Fall Out Boy. And I haven't seen Fall Out Boy in seven years. But I am so exhausted. I'm in my insomnia arc. Uh-huh. We have insomnia lately. Why? I don't know. I have lid filler, so I don't necessarily need it, but I love it. It's so good. Now we're gonna put our lashes on. I did like my foundation and stuff off camera because it's just like, one, I can't put foundation on, on camera because I don't wear my scarf when I do it. So we're not getting any free hair reveal today. Two, I was on the fucking phone. Sorry, viewers. Lashes, Ioni, Dollar Tree lashes are so good. I'm so, so groggy and I'm also very hungry because I haven't had like a real meal yet today. When I was up at four o'clock in the morning, not gonna lie, I ordered mozzarella sticks. And then when they got to my house, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I was like, I should not be eating this garbage right now. Anyways, the lashes. One is on, kind of. We gotta secure her. Slay! Okay. Never mind, I feel better. Maybe it was just not having lashes on and looking like a fucking idiot. As soon as the lashes come on, I feel me. Me. I hate that song. What was Taylor Swift thinking? Great, you know what, I jinxed myself. This lash is not cooperating. You know what's funny, like when I stream, I put these shits on so like flawlessly. I look at myself in my stream camera and I'm like, oh yeah, pop. But now when I'm like actually going out and going somewhere, they don't wanna do anything. They just wanna be fucking stupid. I'm almost done with my makeup though. I just need to put a little eyeliner on and then I'll be good to leave. You would think I would have been religiously listening to Fall Boy on my way here, but no. All I've been listening to is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Fearless. Speak now. Red. You know that TikTok sound? My ass fucked up, but whatever. I think we're good. We're going to do an outfit reveal. And then, of course, clear bag because... Arenas don't let you go in the venue with a bag that isn't see-through. Stupid. Also my makeup, yay, yay. It's done, it's complete, you know, it's a look. When I was younger, I made a vine when I saw Fall Out Boy in 2014. And it was me lip syncing along to a song to the Phoenix. And I was like, hey, young blood. And I went into my forehead and when I, phased out it was like the concert so i should have done something like that you know what maybe i'll do that for a ticky talk who knows i just don't want to get dmca'd maybe i'll do it maybe it'll be included in this video we'll see maybe annoying thing i forgot part two sunglasses and the only sunglasses i have don't match my outfit why is life hard i'm kidding <laughs> life could be worse slay 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 Even though I'm running late, I'm going to the mall because I ran out of my powder and I don't have my perfume. And if I don't have my perfume, I won't feel like me. So let's go. Apparently, 
It's a high rise mall. The mall has been pretty easy to navigate. I Googled the store, level five. <clears throat> so here we go. It's pretty cool. Whenever I travel, I only buy travel size because like, what's the point of wasting money on a big bottle when you can't bring it on the plane? Turns out, they don't have the one I want. Just kidding. There is a whole other side. This one. He can't drop me off at the stadium, so now I'm just like walking like a fucking mile. But I do see cars driving, so I don't understand why he couldn't drive me. Makes you think. Loki, it doesn't feel like it's happening. Like it hasn't hit me. Oh my god, a butterfly! Never mind it. <gasps> Slay. probably never going to use but it was in such a shape that like I had to fucking get it. It is what it is. But I'm super excited for this. Night. I've never really been to like an opening night of tour before where the set list is unknown. So everything is a surprise to me. I'll keep you updated where I end up standing because right now I'm just wandering around. Period. Because the pit is so empty, I'm just gonna do a merch haul right now. Plastic bag with their new logo on it. This is a tote bag that I was talking about. It's kind of drippy, not gonna lie. I got the exclusive sweatshirt for the Chicago show, so like, I'm bored. Going to concerts alone sucks. I will tell you that. But yeah, I'm excited. Now I have this to carry around. Wow. And then I realized, I realized, 
shelves empty. There's no point to any of them. It's all just Oh my god! A random lottery of meaningless tragedy in a series of mere escapes. concert I've ever been to in my entire life. It was the perfect set list. They played songs from like every fucking album, even Foley, which is one of my favorite albums that kind of gets disregarded. I'm like shaking. That was probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to in my entire life. Wow.